So in this video, we are going to be talking about RAG and something more than RAG. So we have a new service on new technology known as M3 Doc RAG. These are multimodal retrievals is what you need for multi-page, multi-document understanding. Let me go through one of the examples and then we are going to go through the architecture and other achievements that they have. They have not released the code yet, but once you see and watch this example, this is, you're going to love this. So for example, the question is, this is again a rag setting. We have few documents and we want to extract and ask questions to the document. So for example, the question is SIE Bend Studios 2019 game cover has man leaning on what? So as a human being, when I go ahead and, and have a look at this question, the first thing that comes to my mind, of course, I don't know anyone anything uh, i've never heard of ben studio but the first and foremost thing that i will do is i will go to google i'll go to wikipedia and search for sie ben studio so this is what it does it fetches the page of ben studio the wikipedia page and in that page it is able to locate a game known as days gone and this game was published in 2019 and this game has a cover so this is a cover page this is 2019 game a cover page and in that cover page we have a man leaning on what so you can see that we have this man leaning on a motorcycle so the answer is motorcycle so as you can see we have pretty good reasoning i mean not reasoning actually it's pretty good fetching abilities it's pretty good embeddings and pretty good fetching abilities. Now, you might have heard of, of call Pally. So this is a retrieval method using visual cues. If you want to learn more about call Pally, you can go and have a read at uh, of this GitHub page. But using call Pally, we can leverage the visual language models to construct efficient multi-vector embeddings in the visual space for document retrieval. Essentially, it's a retrieval mechanism, but it's using the visual language models. And then we have Quant to visual language model 7 billion. That's a vision language model. So this is just one example. We're going to go back to the top and look at the different things that they're trying to explain. And then we are going to look at another two examples. Of course, the code is not ready yet, but you see the argument here. So we have a single page doc visual question answering in which we put in a single page we pass in through the multimodal LLMs and then we have the text query from the user it returns an answer of course the single page doc VQA it cannot handle many long documents that's perfect but we have the rag system that we have been talking in this channel we have so many documents we extract those documents using an OCR and this is the extracted text now once we put in a query a text query that goes through a retrieval mechanism after the text query is converted to embeddings and you can see that a few paragraphs or relevant paragraphs will be uh, fetched from this uh, extracted text and then it passes through the language model it gives out the answer pretty cool but that is only cool for text-based things it ignores the visual information altogether now if you think of watching a movie just reading the subtitles and watching the movie just just reading the storyline and trying to understand the movie it's not good it if you ignore the visual component us as a human being we find it very difficult and non-engaging to work with so same is the case of large language models in which if we somehow engage in the visual uh, clue as well it's pretty easy and we get good results so this is what they have tried to do using m3 doc rag in which they have many long documents uh, and then once we get the text query that is gone uh, that that goes through a multi-model retrieval system that retrieves a few relevant pages and using those pages it is going to use a multi-model llm that can look at graphs they can look at images uh, tables and whatnot 
and answer that. So it's not just a text thing, it uses all the visual elements as well. So this is the new methodology. What they do is they're proposing a unified framework, three-step process. The first is the document embeddings. In the document embeddings, they extract the visual embeddings using cold pally. So we have these uh, documents here. Those are converted to images. And using the visual encoder of known as Cold Pali, it is converted to page embeddings. And you can see these embeddings here. Step two, what they do is they do the page retrieval. So here, top K pages of high relevance, you know, max SIM score that is against a relevant score is used to take in take out the top k pages based on this query of course based on the text encodings that you obtain uh, from using cold pally and that is passed through the multimodal llm and it generates the answer this is a simple step process but again it's very effective it seems so they're releasing a new uh, benchmark as well so that is known as m3 dog vqa in which there are there's a there's a more advanced benchmark and not all models and combinations of uh, models can give a good result but you know m3 doc vqa is a new benchmark in which we have a lot of pdf files a lot of pages for the model to tackle so the existing doc vqa data set for example we have a single a PDF and it asks a question of a context specific question for example what is the profit in the year 2009 it goes through the model and spits out the answer but in this uh, you can see that m3 doc vqa we have a 3k PDFs that's a very large number of PDF and it asks an open domain questions very long you know sequential questions that needs to relate to different pages relate to different elements and come up with a reply for example which b piazza title came earlier the movie as stalin's son stared in so we need to know who as stalin is we need to know his son we need to know that his son is a movie actor who has acted in some movie need to get the list of the movies that as stalin's son worked in and then we're going to compare it with the movie with half of a lady's face on the poster that's very very detailed you know very open-ended question very open-ended question and you need to have an understanding of all these 3000 pages uh, pdf document that we have so they're releasing a new benchmark this will set the benchmark and it will filter out uh, the good the good capability llms here so what uh, is the process of data collection so they are obtaining the urls of the supported context and rendering the url uh, in a web browsers and they're creating pdfs the evaluation results they benchmark on three pdf document understanding data sets so first is the m3 doc vqa then mml long bench doc then mp doc vqa now regarding the performance we can see that their proposed model which is m3 doc rag uh, that is based on cold pally for the embeddings and quen 2 visual language model 7 billion for the visual language model for all the multimodal model it outperforms the text rag which is based on callbird v2 and llama 3.18 billion across all the modalities across all the evidence modalities or question hops and overall and you can see that Quen 2 visual language models are M3 doc rag with cold pally and Quen 2 visual language model 7 billion. It outperforms all the other state of the art models. Now, these are the different benchmarks. Uh, we are going to have a look at another example. This is a very fun example, and you can see that what distance was the AP Warriors fast race? at the del mar racetrack so that's a very detailed question you need to have understanding of different uh, related contexts so for example first we need to as a human being i would first think of uh, ap warrior who is he so uh, i will search for ap warrior and inside the ap warrior we can see that uh, he uh, races okay so inside the race 
uh, we need to find the Delmar racetrack. So this is the Delmar racetrack. In the Delmar racetrack, I asked the distance. So we can see the distance here and the distance is seven furlongs. So using Cole Pally and Quen to VL7 billion, we receive the answer of seven furlongs. That is pretty intensive. Now, another fun example, and then we are gonna close this video. So another example is what date was a player transferred in to Lorca FC? in the 2017-18 season from the club with a logo featuring a bat. Once again, what date, we won the exact date, was a player transferred into Lorca FC. So we want to search for Lorca FC and see the list of players that has been transferred to Lorca FC. So we can see that these are the players which has been transferred to Lorca FC. So these are the list of Spanish football transfer summer 2017. Lorca FC. So these are five names that I have. Now, among those five names, uh, I want the date actually. So we have the date here, but which of the dates is the answer? And the date of the player who was transferred to Lorca in 2017 18 season. So a date should be somewhere in 17 18. Again, we have this. 17 18 season looks uh, almost all of these dates all of these dates qualify for the 17 18 season then they are being transferred from a club with a logo featuring a bat so this is the name of the clubs and now we need some internal knowledge to go to the clubs you know do you know that hospitality has a logo which has a bat mallorca b has a logo which has a bat or Valencia let's look at Valencia so Valencia club and you can see that it indeed has a logo of a bat I mean not a cricket bat or it's a real animal bat so we can see that Valencia is the answer here and because of that we have 11 July 2017 so the VQA component could combine both the retrieval knowledge trophy was transferred on 11 July 2017 and its own knowledge of Valencia CF that has a logo with a bat to provide the final answer. Now, how cool is that? It is able to relate different things. Now, think of this uh, if you use this on your research purpose and it can actually do the research for you. Now, we have been working with TextRack that is pretty great as well but it misses the visual elements because so many different things can be stored and different relations can be found using the visual elements and another study i've seen that html rag is better than just uh you know the text so when we have a rag system if you put in the html form of the rag and and search embeddings and combine the embeddings and form the embeddings using html as a source itself it performs better than just using the text from the html files so that's another study but that is incongruent with this study as well where it says that visual elements uh, do provide more source of embeddings and connections that gives you better answers so this is m3 doc rack and uh, we'll try it out when the code comes along but i'm really excited about this technology and in this channel we explore everything related to ai so please stay subscribed join my patreon if you love and i will see you next time if you are interested to have a look at the quen 2.5 32 billion models and set it up using olama and open web ui and artifacts you can check out this video otherwise feel free to go to my channel and check out the other videos that you like thank you and have a nice day